Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming. Hope you had a very happy Halloween. We went trick-or-treating. That's why we didn't have the stream last night. We will have a stream next week unless something comes up. You just never know nowadays uh, with uh, us coming into basketball season. I'm going to be a coach too for the first time as a head coach. It's for like a 5-6 rec team with 13 kids. So that's going to be fun. But anyways, uh, I do have a few consignments to show you guys. Not too many. Then we're going to be opening up Paradox Rift. Uh, before I show the consignments, I do want to say I got in my second wave of the UPCs for the 151. And my Mewtwo's, they were they were all fixed. They fixed it. Whatever the issue was, they, they took care of it. You see, I don't have any crease there. I went from every single card being damaged to just almost every single card being reasonable enough. I'm going to send these off to be graded. We'll see how it goes. CGC's had some delays lately. I'm not sure what's going on there. I haven't I haven't been charged in like a month, over a month, like a month and a half. It was like mid-September or something. Uh, next up, we have a few cards in on consignment, like I said. Uh, we've got a first edition Dugong. I do like the way that the new cases aren't like cut you sharp. Uh, we have an Onyx first edition PSA 10. And then this one's pretty cool. We have a Gengar. This is one of the few cards that I have multiples of in my personal collection in a 10. Uh, but yeah, we have a 10 on the Gengar from Expedition. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious to see where it goes. I picked up my last copy. I want to say I thought it was a steal at like 800 bucks or 900 bucks, something like that. <clears throat> I got off a of Trolling Toad. I missed the Doug Trio, but I remember picking up the Gengar and I think the Ampharos was were the two cards I picked up. Uh, last, we have another Team Rocket First Edition box. Uh, this last one that just recently sold sold for 13,000, immediately paid for. So I'm curious to see if uh, this one does a little bit better because the condition is a little bit better. Doesn't have the ding corner on it. But then again, at the last three that we've had over these past few months, the one that did the highest was that one that we opened up. It did 13.8. But um, this is, and then the one after that was 13.4, but it was in like really minty shape. This last one had a ding. Uh, it was also sealed, stayed at 13. And we'll see if uh, see how this one does. Right now, people are seem to be hard up, hard pressed for money. And that's why we're seeing a lot of selling off of this right here. Paradox Rift. And I can't even compete with the prices that are online. It's, it's finally back to what uh, it was like pre-COVID for almost all the sets. Uh, there's people dropping boxes for like 85 bucks a piece shipped. I think I, I'm asking six fifty for a case. I'll ship it sealed, bubble mail, everything, which is higher. It is higher than uh, what other people have it set for, but I have no reason to take a loss on it. I don't mind sitting on boxes and cases for a little while if I need to. Or we'll just open them up here on the channel. But I'm not sure what's going on in the set. I remember looking at it for the pre-order. I think I saw Justin Basil. This is before the set you know, was fully released. And I didn't see anything stand out. I still put in a decent order, but I haven't looked at it since then. I don't even remember what I saw um, or if things have changed. I assume there's going to be some kind of uh, Salamance in the set. We've got a Garchomp. That'll probably be one of the gold cards, maybe. Can't even remember who that is. Uh, Cordon? I can't remember. So, yeah. Let's open up our Paradox Rift box. I am really curious to see what we have in the set. This will be the very first packs that I'm opening up. I want to share it with you guys. Let's see what we get. Pack number one. Ooh, nothing there. Been opening up a lot of 151. If you are interested in a sealed case, I do double box it, but like I said, it, it's more expensive than what it's going to cost you from somebody else. That's new. What is that, like a dual type or something? Ancient type? I like it. It's starting to remind me of Primal Clash a little bit. We'll set that one off to the side. Brute Bonnet. I really hope that's not like saying it's a, a bonnet, but we'll, we'll look at it a little bit closer. Cool. Well, there we go. We've got Hoopa EX. That that's from Ancient Origins as well. H Hoopa EX was um, this was the big chase card for yeah Ancient Origins, and uh, kind of I, I guess it's not coincidental at this point that it also has an ancient type trait right there. I think the ancient traits started in. Primal Clash, and they went through Ancient... Uh, I know they, they went through at least Ancient Origins. I want to say through the end of XY, but usually that stuff only lasts for about four or five sets. Primal Clash is also when they changed up the hit rate from four to a box on average to um, six. Look at that Dotler. A little art, art rare. Hoopa was a big hit back then. People love running, running Hoopa in decks. I remember I was making 
some wood boards that I was having them cut out. My brother was making them. And I chose some of the most popular Pokemon, Pikachu, Mewtwo, Mew, Eevee, the Evolutions, and then I also chose Greninja and Hoopa. Those were the big ones back then. Got a Mashold, or Mashold. Kind of reminds me of Marshmallow from Yu-Gi-Oh. Nom, 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 and scissors. The art, the artist really put in some effort on that one. I shouldn't say that. I'm over here insulting an artist and I can't draw worth a lick myself. But man, looks like a ghost mouse maybe. Kind of like a, just a poof. Ooh, that's kind of cool. I bet that was a decent card. Looks like an alternate, but I can't. Is it the double gold stars? Yeah, I think so. this is an art rare. I think they're Rika. See what it actually does. I used to look at that to see if cards were playable, see if I could be pulling out the regular trainers. Look at the top four cards of your deck, put two of them into your hand, shuffle the other cards, and put them on the bottom of your deck. And that's a regular oh, that's a support. I was getting ready to say if that's a <laughs> that's not a supporter. That's crazy. Roaring Moon EX. That's not Salamance. They changed the name, oh man. If they do this to Charizard. Can't stick them in the chart. I guess it'd be like a what do, they, what do they call it? I can't remember what it is. A cameo. Is that what it is when it's got the Pokemon in it, but it's technically not the card? It's a little different than a cameo because usually it's like if you have a Charizard, or say Lucky Stadium, the original uh, Lucky Stadium number 41, you've got a Charizard and a Pikachu. The Pikachu's riding the Charizard, so they're both like cameos for the Lucky Stadium. But is this just like changing the name? Roaring Moon EX. But it's a Salamance. Interesting. Iron Moth. That looks pretty cool. I like the way they textured the, uh, the color on the side, too. It's a future. Hmm. It's a different type of half art, though. Those uh, The ancient traits, when they come out in XY Primal Clash, they were like half arts. And these are, these are almost, but it was vertically. Like the top half and the bottom half. I guess it would be a horizontal line, but vertically separated. Like these are left and right. Got a vertical line here, but I would say it's a horizontal separation. Would you say this is a horizontal or a vertical separation? Because now I'm kind of now I'm now I'm a little uh, I'm torn on that. Torn in two, you could say. Steelix. I guess I could center up the hits a little better, huh? Almost halfway through a box. So that Rika is probably the best hit so far. I wonder if there's gold cards in here. The Roaring Moon EX Salamence didn't have a hat on him. Blitzel. That's pretty cool. I mean that's two I mean that's still eight hits in half a box. That's pretty good. Got the Tinka Tink. Nice grout on there. Uh, if you're looking for codes for the set, I'm I'm not going to have too many, but I'll update the site with some some codes soon. Golden EX, oh, <laughs> Goldingo. You know, you have like such nice artworks, you know, stuff like this, and then it's like, what is that? I guess that's just kind of like your standard thing. I wonder if they do like, uh, well, I guess these may not be. Are these considered hits? I guess they're not. Iron Jugulus. Iron Moth. Is that like a Volcarona? Are these actually different Pokemon? I assume they are. Because that almost looks like a Hydreigon. Iron Jugulus. It's a Paradox Pokemon. Okay. Skeledurge. Got a little texture to it. Maybe one of you guys can tell me. Let me see. Like, why does this have, like, texture around the edge, but the Goldingo EX does not? You guys see what I'm talking about? Like, the silver border has texture, whereas this one doesn't. But it's got, like, the starry foil all over it, and this one doesn't. I kind of like this better. But I don't know what the difference is there. Got a Larry. 
I guess that'd be a regular full art, wouldn't it? Yeah. Bam. So we can put this out. Put the Rika way off to the right. Double gold star. Or a choreo. I remember when they come up with those um, Pokemon League promos, they kept using the Aura Choreos over and over and over again. I never saw people use those in decks. See, my head's cut off nice. And I wonder why. I, I don't think I'm sitting up taller. Maybe it's just the chair. Ooh, there we go. Got a double Silver Star. Got a Serena EX. We'll put that one. Oh, I guess we we'll go right there. It's like a regular full art. So far, nothing too crazy stand out for me. Got a few uh, packs left. Tapu Coco. Discard an energy from this Pokemon. Extreme current. 180. 180 used to be what you try to get to with three energies for an attack. I wonder what it is now in the meta. Has it scaled back any? I would well, Trop Kick, heal 30 damage from this Pokemon, and it recovers from all special conditions, probably because it's this day. Evolves from the stage two. Ooh, that's kind of, I like that one. Nice little Snorunt. Throw in some bright colors. Looks like he's having fun. Oh, man, now I'm ready for some snow now. We've got our second uh, Frost of the Year this morning. We went from Monday having record highs in the low 80s to today, Wednesday, record lows like this morning <clears throat> low 30s it's like a reverse hollow ancient that's kind of cool we'll put that one over there i wonder if i missed any other ones like that two packs to go then we'll go over the hits you guys can tell me if the box was decent or not last pack can we pull like a gold card or something super cool Nothing there. Now, from what I hear, this set's going to be really, like, it's good for the meta, which is just, like, where it's, like, the most relevant decks that are competitive, you know, a lot of the cards. So, and that, and I heard that from Mason, so if it's not true, you guys go talk to Mason. But, yeah, so here are the hits. I would say that's probably the most expensive if I had to guess. After that, I don't know. See, I don't, is Larry any good? Flip a coin of heads, search your deck for up to two Pokemon, reveal them, and put them into your hand. If tails, search your deck for a basic Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand. I mean, that's pretty good, but it's a supporter, so you just never know with supporters. I like the Serena. So I'm going to have, if I was to order these out, I'd probably say something like this. Yeah, those would be the top five. Playability could change that highly for some of these other ones. Like if this uh, Hoopa EX is super playable, then um, it might be you know a ten fifteen dollar card. But I'd say I'd say Rika, then Snorunt, Roaring Moon EX, and then I'd put these. What do you guys think? How wrong am I on just that random guess? As always, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in another video. Sorry we didn't have a live this past week. It was Halloween though. That's just the way it works. We got to go trick or treating on Halloween with the kids. Uh, so this upcoming Tuesday, we might be doing base set. I'm going to double check on that before I do post it. Uh, we'll probably have Paradox Rift available and maybe even some 151. Thanks for watching.